Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Uh, in this video, we'll be solving end chapter problem number 29 from chapter 2 of Mr. Boyster's book on electronic devices and circuits. So the question 22, 29 says determine V0. So this is V0 or V out voltage across this resistor. The required PIV rating of each diode, PIV rating is peak inverse voltage rating and also determine the maximum current through each diode. So we'll see uh, each of them. Now in the question, it has been marked positive and negative here. I think this is slightly misleading because we have both positive and negative half. So it is better that you keep in mind that when positive half comes, it will be positive at the top, negative at the bottom. And when the negative half comes, it will be negative at the top and positive at the bottom. Okay, so let's take the first part, positive at the top. So positive here, negative here. Now the easiest way I follow is uh, to find which diode will conduct. I'll just take this positive sign and see which diode positive terminal it is touching. So it is touching the positive terminal of this diode. So I'll make this diode forward bias. Similarly, I take the other terminal, negative terminal, and see which negative terminal it is touching, which diode's negative terminal it is touching. So it is touching the negative terminal of this diode first, and therefore this diode will be forward bias. The other two will be reverse bias. We draw the diagram neatly, so we make the two reverse diodes open circuit, and now we'll trace the current. Current will flow from the positive terminal through this path to ground, and now grounds are linked, so it will directly come to this ground, flow through here, and then go to the end, that is the negative terminal. Now the important point to note here is the direction of the voltage polarity here. Remember that wherever current touches first, now this resistor, the current is touching the bottom part first, therefore the bottom part will, will mark it as a positive, and the other part will be negative. And so when we draw the output, it will be a negative output, because top is negative. So negative output, uh, is for the first half or the uh, uh, positive peak. Similarly, we go to the second one, the negative peak, and here also we'll follow the same technique, negative touching this negative, so this will be forward, positive touching this positive of the diode, so this diode will be forward. So these two forward, these two reverse, draw it neatly and then the current flows from positive this path ground and ground through register to the other terminal and here also since the current is touching the lower part so the lower part will be positive upper negative that means the output is negative so the output is negative 100 volt so for both the cycles we have this output, first one and the second one. So the combined uh, output will look like this. So this, this is the combined output. And this is actually the rectified output, full wave rectified output. And its magnitude is minus 100. So we can write that the full wave rectified waveform V0 is so we'll represent a full wave rectified waveform with peak voltage minus 100 volt. So this is the answer of the first part. Now the second part is the required PIV rating of each diode. Now this is very important that you understand what is PIV rating. PIV is peak inverse voltage. That means when this diode is forward bias, the current is flowing through this. What will be the effect on the other diode which are not forward bias? So this voltage will ap appear across the diode and this voltage might damage this diode if we don't select it, the diode properly. And let's see an example here. 
This is from this specification diode 1 and 4148. It's maximum reverse voltage or DC reverse voltage, which is also called PIV, is 75 volt. Now, if you connect this diode here, it will get damaged because our input is 100 volt. So this is the importance of PIV that whenever you are designing the circuit, you must know the PIV rating and must keep sufficient margin so the diode does not get damaged. Okay, now how much is the PIV or the maximum uh, in this case? There's a formula that PIV has to be greater than equal to V maximum. Now V maximum is 100 volt. And so PIV is 100 volt. Now the third part is determine the maximum current through the diode. Now you can see the current in both cases is flowing through the diode, but at the same current is also flowing through the resistor. So if you can calculate the current through the resistor, that will be the current through the diode. And we can calculate the current through the resistor by means of V over R. So V maximum, V output divided by R. V maximum is 100 volt. We're just taking the magnitude. So 100 volt divided by 2.2 is 45.45 milliampere. So that is the maximum current flowing through the diode. I hope you have been able to follow this. Thank you.